Okay, continuing with our Python 3 tutorials. Uh, and today we're going to be looking at strings. Um, and both, I'm going to combine two things because they're both really simple and the video will be really, really short. And even though I like my videos to be short and right to the point, um, it would have been really short if I just showed you one of these at a time. So let me make this a little bit bigger here. Okay. Let's say we create a variable called x and we say x is equal to the string of this is a string. Oops. Okay. Now we know if we hit x, it shows us the string. We can also print x like so. Obviously, we've gone over that. In previous tutorials in this series, if you haven't watched all the videos, there is an annotation on the screen, or there should be, to the full playlist. And um, what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out how long this string is, how many characters is in this string by using the len function, which is just short for length. So len length, and we can put x in there. And when we hit enter, it gives us the number 16. So if we were to count these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16, let's, let's change x here real quick and put a new line character in there. So now if we say x, there is a new line character in there. And if we were to lend this out, and now it says 17, uh, if we were to print it, you don't see that new line character, but you do see that there is a new line here, where without it, there was not a new line. So it counts, even though we're putting a backslash n here again, that, that's just how we type out a new line character. It's not actually the character's backslash n. That's why there's only one more in there than two, even though you're typing out two new characters. I'm going to put x back to this is a string. And again, if we see the length of x, it's back to 16. So now there's another thing you can do here. We can actually split up uh, strings that are in variables one letter at a time. So what we can do here is we can say x and then inside square brackets I can say 3 and hit enter and we get the letter s because it's character number 3. The reason i is not character number 3 is because t is 0. If I do t x and 0 it says t. If I say 16 we get an error let's try 15, uh, is the G. Again, because we start at 0. So G is not 16, even though there are 16 characters. We've reached 16, but we haven't gotten past 16 yet. Hopefully that makes sense to you. We can also show a range within the string. So if we know that 0 is the T, 2 is the I, 1 is the H, and 3, I counted kind of weird there, didn't I? So let's say we just wanted to print that first, those first four characters. What we can do is we can say x, and then here we can say th uh, 0, colon, 3. And what that will do is show the first three, and of course, I've messed up. We're going to go 4. Uh, again, because we're going to 4 characters, so 0, 1, 2, 3, that would be 4 characters. It can get a little confusing if you're not used to it. I'm used to it, and I still have little blunders like this one right here. I meant to put four in there. Anyway, that was it for this tutorial. We looked at the how to get the length of a string that's in a variable. Uh, we also looked at printing ranges. And again, uh, you don't have to start at zero here. If I wanted to go uh, five and then go four characters, um, I get an error. Oh, not five and then four characters, five and then through character nine, I get four characters. See, even I mess up sometimes, and I do this all the time. So we get um, S, uh, I, S, space, because that's a character, and A, because we went, we started at character five and went to nine, uh, not through nine, if that makes sense. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial useful. New video every Wednesday on Python 3 for the coming weeks. Be sure to check out the playlist for all the previous videos, and uh, I hope that you're enjoying them. If you are enjoying these Python 3 videos, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below, let me know if you like it, um, and I hope that you have a great day.